In this video I'm going to show you how to make a filled region um, and cover up um, your individual categorical elements in Revit to make it look um, a little more volumetric um, or spatial or about occupancy. So you can see in this section um, <clears throat> this is a solid piece but it's actually a detail region so if I delete it you can see everything behind it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys how to make that. Um, basically you want to start um, in by creating a section. So I have a section here that I've already created which is this one. So go ahead and create the section that you want to do um, and then I'm just going to skip back to this guy and then you want to start setting it up kind of like how you want it. Um, so I'll just go to my visibility graphics real quick and set everything to gray for the section cut. Let me make it a light gray. <clears throat> so now everything that's in section, um, except for a few um, minor elements, are is in gray. Um, and now what I want to do is go in and cover up the edges of these guys and make that a full um, section. So I'm just going to hide these guys real quick. And um, this is pretty simple. You just go into your annotate and you go to region, filled region, and you set it to a solid gray. So um, if you need to you can go to edit type and duplicate and name it solid gray and set up all of the stuff here and use it. Um, but once you're in the um, filled region you just need to make a um, outline around what you want. So I'm just going to use the pick line here and I would suggest doing it in little pieces. So um, you can either start from the top or uh, from the bottom. I'll start from the top here and I'll go around and see if it'll give me that line. It wants to. Um, I'll just use that one and that one and we'll do this and this and this and that guy right there. And then I'm just going to trim them out to what I want. Um, I would just recommend kind of working on uh, these guys in bits and pieces. I'll just go ahead and draw a line there. I forgot to pick the end of that guy. And um, I'll trim this. So I'm typing TR for trim. And I know this one's not right, but I'll fix it later. So um, you can go in and, and just start doing it in bits and pieces. So I'm going to pick, you know, that guy, that guy, that guy, get in there a little closer, and that guy, and trim this one out. You can just say unjoin if it wants to unjoin, that's fine. Um, and then if you have any duplications, let me go ahead and draw a line right here, you can just copy them, right? Like if you have even spacings or something, like I'm just going to pick these three and go to copy and copy them, right? So make sure that you use the most efficient method for doing this. This one's a little shorter, I know. And then, you know, if you're just at the end, you can finish this guy up. I could actually mirror that other one because it's similar. So it's kind of up to you. But <clears throat> definitely, if you have multiples, go ahead and just go to here and here. And if I trim it out, right, I'll have that whole thing. And then I can hit my big green check. And I can see that sitting in there. This one's a little short, so in the project I can actually pick it and it has a little pull line and I can pull it over here. Um, <clears throat> if I click off of it, oops, not with the wall, you'll see that there's a little line here, right? So you'll get this little line, which is a little annoying. But what you can do is pick the filled region and if you edit the boundary, you can control the type of lines that it's using, right? So right now it's using thin lines. So if I go in, I probably just want to make all these thick, right? So I'll just pick all of them and flip them to wide lines. There we go. And then I'll pick these two ends and switch those to invisible lines, right? 
and then if I hit check and I click off of it you'll see that those lines go away now you're still getting that little overlap right there so you can kind of pull it in again this is not an exact science um, but you can get it close enough you know to where it's not really visible when you get the line weight going right and so um, if I do my line weight right you can start to see you can even adjust it closer right right to the edge of the line weight and get it really close to where you got that so you would just do the same thing up here um, and then you've kind of got your your section there you can also go in and um, I make it transparent so if I go to my visibility graphics here the <clears throat> annotations are under um, detail items the filled regions and so let's say I wanted to make it a little transparent I can override that and set the transparency to maybe 25 and let's see what that looks like right so you can start to see through that um, I'm not a big fan of the chipboard so um, if you go down to the walls you can adjust the pattern on that and if you just want to get rid of it you can just do a, a solid fill white right if you don't have you guys probably have other materials on but um, and get rid of that but anyway that's the process um, and then you can place it on your sheet